a large stadium on the outskirts of Lviv was built to accommodate over 34,000 soccer fans. But since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the stadium is serving as a refugee coordination center. Buses bring refugees from all over Ukraine. In just the first week, over 13,000 people came here. The life of every Ukrainian changed after February 24th. Olga Manko is the director of the Arena Lviv Stadium. Before the invasion, her job was to organize large-scale sporting events and concerts. But since the beginning of Russia's invasion, her main duty is assisting refugees. We help volunteers at humanitarian headquarters. We peel potatoes, we wash dishes, we cook. Many of the refugees who came here have already lost their homes. Irina is one of them. She came here from just outside Kyiv. We were waiting and waiting, but it only got worse. All the villages close to us were occupied by Russians. When she realized things were very unlikely to improve, Irina was forced to leave her home. Occupiers were locking people in the basements of their own houses. They were mocking people if they felt like it. They raped women. They do what they want. They could even kill the owner of the house. Refugee center coordinators say that in the first few days of the invasion, frightened people wanted to go abroad as soon as possible. Those who are arriving now, like Irina, are more willing to wait for the war to end at home or relocate to regions with little or no military action. We tried to accommodate people within the municipal infrastructure and territorial communities. I mean, those who plan to remain in Ukraine. The refugee reception center is half empty now, but volunteers operate on the assumption that invasion will go on and additional beds are already being set up at the stadium. In case humanitarian corridors are open from Mariupol, Chernihiv, Sumy or Kharkiv, more people would go to Lviv. And then, of course, this hall would be crowded. Anna Kostuchenko for Voice of America News, Lviv, Ukraine.